Hi everybody, welcome to the Spectator in the Zone post game show. Ellie Schultz here with Miles Simmons coming to you from Baker Field. Miles Lions just fell 48 to 7 to Brown to close out the 2013 campaign and that's it, they're 0 and 10 on the year. Yeah, they sure are. It's the first time that they've gone winless in a season since 1987. So yeah, obviously not a good year for Columbia at all. Um, a lot of frustrating moments uh, and a lot of frustrating moments today. Let, let's jump right into the action. Pick it up in the first quarter, and Brown running back John Spooney broke through the middle for a 45-yard touchdown run, putting the Bears up 7-0. And then later in the quarter, Bears quarterback Patrick Donnelly hit his wideout Jordan Evans with a 13-yard touchdown pass to make the score 14-0. Still later in the quarter, Spooney took a handoff up the middle and made Columbia linebacker Brian East pop the ball out, with Mark Cieslack recovering for the light blue. But the Lions wouldn't take advantage of the turnover going three and out. With Brown now up 24-0 toward the end of the first half, on 3rd and 4 on the Brown 38, the Columbia quarterback Trevor McDonough overthrows wideout Ryan Flannery and is intercepted by Emory Poli to kill the Lions drive. In the 3rd, after McDonough hooked up with Toure Douglas for a 12-yard touchdown pass to get Columbia on the board, the Bears came in and hit McDonough hard for a strip sack, which Brown recovered. On the ensuing drive, Patrick Donnelly hit Andrew Marks for a 21-yard touchdown pass, bringing the score to 41-7. And by the end of the third quarter, most of the crowd had cleared out, and as it's been all season, the Lions couldn't put up any more points and lost 48-7 on senior day. Yeah, so Miles, obviously a very lopsided game. Brown's offense really ran all over the Lions, and they really did run all over the Lions. They sure James did. Spooney, the uh, Ivy League's leading rusher, had himself quite a game. Today. Yes, he did. He ran the ball 27 times for 186 yards and a touchdown, and one of those was a 45-yard run. I mean, he talked about he had such bursts through the middle on that run. Right. And, I mean, he's basically faster than anybody else on the field. And so, you know, he's going to put up those kind of numbers. There's a reason why he's leading the league in rushing. Yeah, and that's 186 yards with pretty much none of the fourth quarter, too. He, exactly. He didn't really get a lot of touches late in the game. So, Not at all. Yeah, that was a huge factor for Brown. Um, their quarterback also, Patrick Donnelly, yep. had a great game as well. Four touchdowns, 305 yards, um, 22 of 37 passing. So, you know, very solid game from the Browns' offense. And then on the flip side, Columbia, again, you know, same sort of things we've been talking about all season. Yeah, I mean, we can talk about these stats till we're blue in the face. I mean, nine first downs, 57 yards rushing, 149 yards passing, only 206 total offensive yards to 627 for Brown. I mean, they ended the first quarter with, what, that 10, 14, yeah, 14, 14 yards? yards? Yeah. I mean, and that was only because that uh, Alan Watson had a 10-yard screen pass. Mm -hmm. uh, right before the end of the first quarter. I mean, this offense has just been dismal all season long, and there's no, really no other way to describe it. Yeah, and again, like, yeah, 16 of 50 passing today from Trevor McDonough. Yeah, anytime you're passing the ball 50 times, you're probably not winning the ball game. Yeah, definitely, and drops also, it's not all on McDonough. That's um, true. A lot of big drops uh, hurt the Lions today as yep. well. So, yeah, you know, disappointing end to a very disappointing season for Columbia. Yeah. You know, it started um, with a very big disappointment in the very first game. Two yeah. big star players going down with injuries and a lopsided score, and it didn't really ever get better from there. No, it didn't. I mean, you're right. It, it's the, the injuries in the first game, of course, were a big factor in, in the rest of the season, I'm, and the, the team would never make that excuse. But, I mean, you can't say that that's not a factor, right? Mm -hmm. And there have been injuries all season long. I mean, you know, we've seen uh, Connor Nelligan go down. We've seen Chris Connors come back and then go down again. And we didn't see Isaiah Gross, a wide receiver, who flashed a little bit last year at all this season. So, you know, it's, the injuries have piled up. Yeah, um, so again, very tough season for the Lions. Very, uh, a lot of lot of questions swirling around the campaign, both on, uh, sorry, around the, the program, yeah. both on and off the field. Absolutely. Um, so, you know, it'll be interesting to see what happens with that uh, as the season winds down here. But I'd um, like to take a moment, too, to acknowledge you, Miles. It's been your last show here for us. Um, Miles uh, has been covering the sport for two years, so, you know, thank you for all the time you committed, and uh, happy trails to you. Well, thank you, Ellie, and thank you all for watching. We'll see you next year.